Hey guys, Crewman here. And what do these five computers slash CPU mining rigs have in common? Can you guess? Well, the answer is they are all way too big for what is on them. This is literally a motherboard with a power supply, as is this one. These are in a computer case when they really don't need to be. It was just easier. And this one is in a computer case as well. And they are taking up so much space in my shed when I could get all of these down to this. Look at how much less space these use. Now, Zach from 3dprintmaster.com, I'll put a link down below, sponsored this video. Uh, he initially had sent me, he DM'd me on Twitter and asked me if I'd like to try some of his CPU motherboard brackets because I was complaining that... I was having issues with space and I said sure so you know it was in the middle of me prepping for CES and a lot of stuff going on so he sent them to me and I built I had spare parts from that 1660 super lot which was basically these and I had just assembled these and I just left them on my uh, shelf for uh, you know a month and when I was looking to finally exp uh, to redo my farm I just looked at these and I'm like, man, these are really good. I could save so much space. You know, I haven't really ever seen someone put a power supply mount on the side of their bracket, which saves a ton of room. So I um, got in contact with him and he agreed to sponsor this video for me. So I'm going to be changing all of my motherboards to these mounts from 3dprintmaster.com. And I will have a link down below and I'll show you on the website. These are really cheap. Like he's got a motherboard test test bench that this is what this is the one I used. Uh, he sent me a few of them, and I will probably use one or two different ones just to show you the difference. But I really really like this one because it is just convenient. Um, if you lift them by the power supply, they're really sturdy too. Like you see how sturdy that is. Now obviously you want to lift it with two hands when you move it, but it just saves a ton of space. So we're gonna we're going to convert all of my my cases now i have those five cases or i have seven total rigs one of them will not be converted as i've soldered 41 pins i am terrified to move it and kill the cpu so that one's going to stay it's nothing against zach i just don't trust anybody i just don't even trust myself to move it like i'm literally not even moving it and then i have one that i may actually move he sent me um an itx motherboard standoff but i need to have a graphics card on that one or it won't post so i'm just leaving it on my test bench kind of rig thing. Uh, I'll show you that one later, but I'm going to be converting the rest and he sent me a few extras. Uh, now, obviously these ones are ready for CPUs. I will be buying those this month. So there'll be another two as well. So I'll have about nine to 10 with his um, brackets and I will probably put these in the farm just to give you an idea of size wise. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up his package that he sent me. Let me show you how they're built and from there, I'm just gonna build them all. All right, now I just wanna show you quickly how well he packs his stuff. They're very well packed and they're very sturdy products. Now I had him just send me a bunch. I didn't, um, I had him send me a bunch of these. See right here, you, I'll link you to the ones I'm talking about. They're, really really easy to to set up you see right here and the cool thing let me show you one of these is that they're very easy to get apart hold on there's another one there's another tape joint that i don't see now obviously they're just 3d printed but like I have a I have an Ender 3 myself and I really dislike using it. So you have to like, you know, you have to want to spend the time on this. And his and like I said, they've held those motherboards for months. So you see right here, uh they're pretty easy to use. Like you know, they and they even have left and right, so you can't can't mess them up. You see right there? So now that you've seen now that you've seen these and we've got them laid out, let's go ahead and get them built, all right?
right, guys. So here you have it. They're done. I built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them, or six of them actually. Uh, <laughs> and I have cases everywhere in my studio slash man cave. So let's go over a few things. Um, first thing I want to do is I just want to showcase this. This without the cooler, but some things that I really really like. Um, you have enough room under here for the CPU or for the CPU cable. And you can put hard drives here if you want. Now, I don't need that as I use M.2s basically, but if I have any SSDs, maybe I'll screw them in here. Um, it doesn't feel flimsy. Now, you know, you, when you lift it, you're going to have to lift it with both hands and you're probably going to have to lift it like this because remember, this still is 3D printed. Like this isn't supposed to be steel, right? These things are like, you know, 8 to 12, uh, 15 bucks a pop depending on what you're getting. So like, you know, you're either carrying it like this, which I probably wouldn't do. I would probably carry it like this. But, I mean, it's a lot easier to transport, and it takes up a lot less room. Um, one thing I did notice was uh, you can kind of use this one for MATX boards, which are for micro ATX boards, which is pretty sweet. Now, I had to put the power supply on because it would fall with this bigger cooler. Um, I don't think this is how it's intended to be used, but it's kind of cool that you can use it this way, and it still saves space. Like, you know, it's still less room than, if you look at this thermal take case, it's less room than this thing. It's shorter, and, I mean, I can stack it easier. And, I mean, not stack it, but, like, I can, you know, kind of just shove it in a corner easier. So, there's that. So, I'm impressed by the, you know, the the uh, adaptability of these stands. Um, another one is the MATX stand they did provide me. It's fine. I mean, it's cool. I like how you, um, you know, I just like the flexibility of it. And they also had one that they sent me for, uh, that I'm just going to show you that I thought was interesting. Like, if you have a cool motherboard you want, you can kind of just display it. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to go like that. I think you're supposed to put this down. So you could also buy this one where it just leans on it. And, like, the way it snaps together was pretty, you know, it was pretty easy. It just, it has snaps right here. Whoop. Like right here, you just pull them in, you push them in. It's pretty intuitive and it just snaps in. I don't know if I'm going to be using that one right now. I mean, it, it, it's kind of cool for maybe like if I get reviews for motherboards or anything in the future. That's um, that's kind of cool to, to have. But uh, yeah, so in all honesty, I'm really happy with these. Uh, you know, as I start sponsoring products, I want to make it clear that I would only sponsor things that I would use myself. And hence, I j you just watched me build eight of these things. Uh, I have, you know, a few more, probably like three or four more left. Uh, and I'm probably going to just use these exclusively on my farm. I really, really like what 3D Print Master has done. I think their quality is great. Their pricing is great. Um, I have nothing negative to say about it. So let me, now with that said, let me go get these set up. I don't really think there's anything else to add. Um, one of the things I do like though is that they will make them it will be so much easier to stack these i don't know what i'm gonna do these power buttons uh that i haven't solved yet and that's not 3d print master's job to solve that for me it's crute's problem all right guys it's set up so as you can see i've got seven uh no i've got two four six seven of uh, the cpu mining rigs eight CPU mining rigs where I only had four originally, or three, I'm sorry, I only had three over here. So it makes life so much easier. Now, I didn't move this frame because I'm never taking this off the motherboard. I soldered 41 pins onto that and I'm never messing with it. So as far as CPU farm expansion, uh, first of all, I just want to thank 3DX Printing for this. It's been incredible. Um, they did a great job with their products. Please, please, please support them. They are our channel sponsor, and they are great. I will be using more of their products in the future. So those two are empty, and I have the power for them. So that will put me up to nine, and I probably, I have power for probably like four more. So I probably will put some, uh, I have a server case going there, maybe over here. Uh, I actually have a little bit of power on that one. So maybe I'll put another two over here and maybe like one to two up here before I fill that up. Or maybe I'll just put them down here. I don't know, I have room. Uh, it's nice that they're all organized in one place. So maybe what I would do is 
Maybe I would move this up here and make this another shell for 3D printing. This is my buddy's rig. I might knock it into a smaller shell. He, always, he said he's planning on expanding on it. It's up to him if he wants to. I have the power, I don't really care. Uh, those fans are screaming. I might have to do something about that. And those are screaming as well. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I definitely am very happy with the way this looks. I saved a ton of space. Uh, as you guys can see, I fit so much more. And I'm putting another server case there and probably one here but the jury's out on that one we'll see so anyway guys thank you for watching this video thank you to 3dx printing uh it's an incredible site you need to check out his product please 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 go buy it support the channel again thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe crew man out